And now, your Norcast weather update. Brought to you by Montreal Beach Resort. Under new ownership, discover some of the amazing updates that have gone into one of Cape May's most iconic properties. And check out Harry's Ocean Bar and Grill with an all-new menu and seven days of entertainment, including dueling pianos. Book your getaway or visit today. Happy lunchtime on your Sunday afternoon. Meteorologist Bobby Clark here with an update on your forecast. We're seeing some showers pushing into the area right now as we speak. And I'll continue to be cases we head through the rest of this afternoon on into the evening hours. And the main reason why we're starting to see these dew points creep up. We saw them yesterday creeping up just a bit. Now they're basically where our temperatures are at the moment. So therefore, atmosphere is moist out there. Therefore, we're starting to see some showers come down here across the area itself. Could mix with a couple of snowflakes to the farther northwest you go. And of course, across northern parts of New Jersey, say north of I-80 and up towards the Poconos, if you have any kind of uh, travel plans heading up into that area, or maybe you're traveling down from that region, heading back home. So just be careful and be wary of that. Overall temperatures, I mentioned, pretty close to where the dew points are at the moment. Showers are continuing to build here as we head into the rest of this afternoon as low pressure system continues to kind of drift up into the Great Lakes and it's going to kind of do a nosedive to the southeast as we head towards overnight tonight on into tomorrow, keeping us cloudy for most of the day, but it looks like we'll get better conditions as we head into the middle of the week. Exclusive Norcast hour by hour forecast for the rest of today. Temperature is really not a factor in terms of the rain and snow line, so that's some good news. It's just we have to deal with that raw, chilly breeze out there with the rainfall. So kind of damp out there. We'll see the scattered showers, and of course, with the northeasterly breeze gusting to near 20, 25 miles per hour, these temperatures will feel like more like the 30s than you do in the mid to upper 40s throughout the rest of this afternoon. As I mentioned, this cutoff low with a weak warm front is going to kind of head its way south and east across the area and then head through our area to our south and east off the ocean. So I think tomorrow morning, we're still gonna have to deal with the cloud cover. We could see a wraparound shower, especially the closer you get to the shoreline, but that'll end pretty much about mid to late morning itself. But the cloud cover continues to stick around as we have that north to northeasterly flow continue to push on in here that we've had basically for the last couple of days. And that'll continue to be the case into Monday itself. But then as we head into Monday night into Tuesday, things clear out. So yes, might be a little bit below normal, especially Tuesday, but it'll be so nice to see the sunshine feel so much nicer out there, especially with high pressure in control. So it'll be not as breezy either, having to deal with the breeze for most of this weekend. Here comes the next warm front, next storm system. Now this is, becomes a question mark because it depends on how cold we are in the morning hours. Could see a bit of a mix, I think, as we head into Thursday morning. I think it'll be plain rain, if anything, during the day on Thursday. It's not going to be a prolonged uh, wash out all day. It's going to be kind of a scattered about on and off type of thing. As we get back into Thursday evening though, temperatures are going to dip back into the lower 30s. So we can be talking about possibly a mix and possibly maybe even some snowflakes popping in here as we head overnight Thursday. And then as it pushes away on Friday, it'll be warm enough. I think we're, we'll have to only deal with some rain showers on and off. As for tomorrow, as I mentioned, 43 degrees will do it. North wind steady around 10 miles per hour gusts to 20 to 25, keeping that cloud cover around. And these temperatures will feel more like the 30s than you do actually in the low to mid 40s itself. Seven day forecast mentioned Tuesday being a decent day on tap for us with the sunshine. Clouds push in here as we head into Wednesday. Mentioned that storm system, we'll have to keep an eye on it. Nick and I will certainly do that for the rest of the week. See what kind of system we can, uh, kind of precipitation we can develop as its system moves eastward. Exclusive Norcast plus three days. We see ourselves dry into next weekend, but below normal and pretty breezy across the region. Have a great afternoon, everybody. I'll see you later.